Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Hey Miss Hino, what are you doing at home? Well, it's the weekend and I thought, hey, what a better chance to bring you guys videos than over the weekend. So what I want to do today is talk about your team's Cargo Connect strategy. You know, if you think about it, they call it the robot game. I've, I've told you guys this before. And with any kind of game, there's always going to be a strategy to your game. So what I want to do today is take the Cargo Connect table and break it into four pieces and go over the points and go over what possible strategies your team can have. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So again, it's called the robot game. And you always take a game and you consider what your strategy might be. You know, if you take chess, there's always a strategy for chess in certain places on the board that you want to dominate or make sure you control to make sure you're successful in the game. So in the robot game, it's the same way. There's parts of the board that you want to make sure you focus in on and control. And this is going to be for all teams, but especially for my beginning teams. You want to take a look at that board and just break it down section by section and point by point so that you're able to see what is your best strategy. So today what I want to do is show you that visually and then actually take you to the Cargo Connect board to see what this would look like. Okay guys, so we're taking an overhead look at the Cargo Connect table here. And today what I want to do is just take this table here and if I can, just split it like this. Check this out. I'm going to take this chunk right there. You know what, let me change this to yellow so maybe you guys can see this better. I just want to take the board and cut it into one fourth and concentrate just in this upper left hand corner of the board. We can call it the northwestern part and just strategize and take a look at the points that are available right here. So if we can take this unused capacity um, blue hinged bin right here and if we can return that to home and get it filled with those six pieces, that's 30 points right there. If we can do the uh, cargo plane, and if we can do the whole thing, which means drop the gate and have the container come out to the mat, that would be 30 points. And then if we can put these three gray containers into this circle right here, that would be 30 plus 10 because again you get those extra 10 if there's any circle with a container completely inside that would be 40 for that all those containers we have the um, switch engine up here which is going to be 20 and then we have um, both these vehicles here the plane and the truck if we can move both of them past the blue lines, that would be 10, 10, and then the extra 10, that would be 30. And then we have our accidental avoidance up here, which if we can get that, could you know, that can be perfect, that would be 30. So if you can just take a look at all these points up here in the upper left part of this table, I mean, let's just add it up as I go here. 30 and 30 is 60 plus 20 is 80, plus 30 is 110, 120, this is 150, this is 180 points just within the upper left part of the table here. So that's a lot of points and compared with all of the other quadrants of this table, that is where the most points can be received by your team. And we're not even talking about you know, the precision tokens. We're not even talking about the small inspection area. This is just missions that you can do in that upper left part of the table here. So this is just, I'm not telling you, you know, to, you know, if you're a coach, if you're a team member to, you know, you have to do every single mission in that upper left. This though is where the gold is. You know, if we were pretending to be on a California gold rush, and we're looking for the gold, there's where the gold is in that upper left part of the table. So when you're strategizing with your teams, try not to overlook how much gold or points is in that upper left. And to be honest with you, this 
you know, the cargo plane, if you have been in first Lego league for many years, you know that they always put a relatively easy mission that's worth a lot of points. And I believe this year it's that cargo plane. Sorry for teams that might be struggling with it, but I consider that mission to be, that's the one where it's almost a gimme, where they're saying here. And I think this blue hinged container can also be that too. And if you notice, they're both here in the upper left where they're just saying, hey, take these big chunk of points for not a whole lot of effort. So this whole video is just showing you kind of where the points are. What I want to do now, is, and you can feel free to rewind this video and see the, you know, the map again, but I want to take you now to the cargo connect table where you can see a, an educator robot complete all these missions. Um, and I, you know, I, I haven't done these all in one, you know, sequence here. But you can see how they can be done in a relatively short amount of time, even though I, I drop my motor speed to 30%. So let's go to the Cargo Connect table and see all of these missions here, these 180 points, get done. Okay, let's first do the unused capacity. That's into home. Now we're going to go over here to the cargo plane. Oh, almost got that out. Yes. Ah, check that out. The cargo container came out. Okay, so well, we're going to get this in here and fill that for 30. We got the container to come out for 30. And then we flipped over the switch engine for 20. So we got 80 points again in this upper, or you can say northwestern corner here. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at these two and then finish off here with the accident avoidance. Yes, we're past the blue line. Yes, it's past the blue line. Avoidance program here. We're going to take the long way here around the bridge. We're going to head up to the top of the board here. And we're going to make the turn. It's going to be looking for black. Beautiful. And that's the one we want. Where it's just knocking over the yellow oranges panel there for 30 points. So that's where you want to be at the end of the match, just knocking that panel over without knocking the black one over. Okay, guys, so I don't think I'm telling any, you know, any secrets here. I think all of you can figure out the points for yourself and just know that that upper left part of the table is golden. Uh, but this is just a, a video to help you and your teams, especially for those of you that are coaching, for those of you that might be beginning teams, to always take the table and always just break it down like I did and figure out where the majority of the points can be and especially how close those missions are to the launching area. You always want to consider how close is a mission model to the launching area and you always want to consider how many points you can get for completing that mission. And you always, you know, have to factor in risk too. What's the risk? Um, in completing this mission. And I believe in that upper left part of the table, it's everything. It's close to the launching area. It's high in point value. And I believe it's really low in risk because everything is so close. And, you know, if your robot might be off a little bit, it doesn't have time, you know, to go way across the table to be off even more. It, you know, I think your margin of error is very small. So hopefully this video was um, constructive in a few ways to show you, you know, just the strategy where your team 
I mean, I know some of your teams might be saying, hey, let's do this mission because it's fun. That's great. And I think you guys should do that. But also just concentrate on, like we said, the amount of points the mission is, how close to the launching area is it, and how risky of a mission can it be? And I feel like all of those missions are super high in value, but low in risk. And it kind of depends on your team again and your robot, but talk it over with your team. I highly encourage you guys to talk. And that's why you guys always should collaborate and discuss these as a team. And coaches, feel free to let your team talk this through and you know come to some kind of consensus or agreement on those missions and the points. And it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be neat to see it all come together. So hopefully you guys are having a good start to your season if you guys have already started. And for those of you that have not, you have a lot to think about, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from the channel Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.